Hey guys, it's Arcade and today we are going to take a look at Psytrance, also known as Psychedelic Trance, not to be confused with Psy, the artist who made Gangnam Style. That has nothing to do with it, okay? So yeah, Psychedelic Trance. I'm gonna show you how to get everything going, all the sounds that I use, and the effects I put on them, and stuff like that. So hey guys, let's get started. Also, this video is brought to you by WA Production, who hooked me up with their new plugin called Imperfect, and I'm actually going to be using this plugin to make this track. You can use any other plugin, but this one actually has a lot of cool features that sort of transform the sound in different ways, so you can really play around with the sound and put some experimental effects on it. If you want to get it yourself or try it out, link will be below in the description so you can check it out. Anyways, now let's get started. Let me put on my headphones. Let's get to work. So yeah, for the BPM you can go around 145 or 147, something around there. It's pretty fast. And of course, side trends, the mood is kind of experimental and dark usually. So the first thing I want to show you is the drums. Here is the beat I created, a normal 4x4 four four kick rhythm. And the kick should hit pretty hard. I mean, this kick has that knock to it and it's really important, it drives the song. So I have this kick from Kashmir's back and I also layer it with a top kick. Just so the click on the kick is uh, more pronounced. Then we have this clap. I mean, this one stands out, but it also kind of fades in with the hi-hat sounds, which I'm going to get to right now. I have an open hi-hat on each offbeat. And then this one just sort of fills it in here. And then I have this hi-hat, closed hi-hat, just going all the way through, all the way through the whole drum loop. And I also automated the velocity a little bit and the pitch as well. Just so we have some variation, Psytrance is all about creating variation throughout the song, so you should always play around with some of these parameters just so you can somehow change it up. So this is how the drum loop sounds. Really basic, but it works. Now the second thing, and probably the most important thing, and the most obvious thing that tells you this is Psytrance track, is the bass. Now for the bass sound I'm using Imperfect, but you can use anything. And it sounds like this. So that's the first sound I'm using. And the second one, also from the plugin, is this one. Just sort of more clicky sound. There's a lot of bass sounds you can use. Some of them are more clicky, some of them are more deep bass. This one is sort of in between, I would say. And the rhythm I created is this one. So you want just short notes, offbeat, sort of like this, and here I switch the octaves just to make it a bit more interesting, and it sounds like this. By itself, it's not special, but with the drum loop, you actually fill in the empty spaces with the kick, so it sounds like this. And there you have that side trance rhythm. Here it is with the whole drum loop. So yeah, that's the main theme of the song. You always want to have this in your song. Now, another important thing, especially in Psytrance, is the effects. So I put a lot of white noise and impacts in here. There's little effects like this river pluck. These risers as well. And you definitely want to fill the song with them. And in other songs it will be too much, but in Psytrance it's actually good to have a lot of effects playing in the background. You could even do more than I did. So yeah, you can already imagine being on drugs. So in Psytrance there is not a specific way to make a song, but usually you would go about starting with the drum and the bass and then adding some more sounds and playing with the parameters of those sounds, experimenting with the sounds. So that's sort of what Psytrance is all about. It can be a lot of fun creating these tracks because you can just play around constantly. So the next sound I added is these ARPs. 
so the base note is in E, so I can do an arpeggio that's also in the key of E. And it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to play around with melodies too much. You can just play around with the sounds instead. But yeah, I have this ARP. And again, using the Imperfect plugin. The reason it's called Imperfect, because it has all these parameters that you can play with that just transform the sound into something you sort of cannot predict. It's sort of random, but not really. So it can create some interesting effects that can inspire new ideas. You have this wacky, cracky and shaky parameters, which you can play with, which transform the sound. And you have them set up on every sound. So you can transform any sound from all these presets. There's actually a lot of presets here, which are pretty cool. And I think they are adding some more as well. It's a really cool plugin. And I especially like these modulators, these uh, X, Y axis modulators. So you can set up what it will affect and then just play with it. You can also record it live. So you, know, you can do that sort of thing where you just play around with the sound. So yeah, pretty interesting plugin, especially for side trends where you can just play around with the sound. So I just wanted to demonstrate a little bit. In my song, the way I used it is I used the shaky and the delay amount and played with this modulator. And it sounds like this. I automated it, as you can see. If you want to automate it, just go to browser parameters and you know move it and then create automation clip. Or you can just press record and do notes and automation and play with it and it will actually record that automation. Here's the arpeggio I used. For the effects, it's pretty simple. I just have stereo shaper, so it's more wide in the mix and then EQ, so I delete the low frequencies because we really want that side trance bass to have all the low frequencies. Here's how it sounds in the song with the bass and the drums and the effects. <laughs> So I also automated this parameter here, which is the cutoff and chorus. So it opens up the sound a little bit at the end. That's it for this part of the song. Next, I continue with all the sounds that we heard previously, but I add another sound. And one thing I changed is I created a little bit of a melody with the bass. So the first one is the same, but then I went lower on the C note. That's it pretty much. And I also added this sound, which is like a plug sound, but I layered the bass with it, so it's more gritty. I also added this percussion, which will be pretty important later in the song, but it's just percussion. Uh, I also automate the fine pitch. Again, in side trends, just play around with all these parameters. It's a lot of fun just make crazy effects. It doesn't matter. You can just have fun, be creative, you know? So I add this percussion here and there, just sort of to make it interesting. People notice and they're like, what's that sound, you know? And then a very important sound I added is this one. Again, using Imperfect and I played with the automations here a lot and with the effects as well. So without the effects, it sounds like this. So yeah, sounds pretty crazy <laughs> by itself. Uh, as you can see, I recorded the automations. So they are all in here. And you can see just how I moved it and stuff. And also the panning. So there's a lot of automations on this sound. And again, I played with the cracky automation and a filter cutoff. And the shaky is already all the way up. So, so that causes that weird pitch stuff. 
it sounds pretty weird by itself, of course. Uh, I added Grossbeat as well with the Complex 3 preset, which automates the pitch and cuts it up even more. But I also have this Trans gate, which uh, sometimes like turns off the sound. It basically means here the sound is at full volume, here it's at zero, and it creates this rhythm. So here's how it sounds with the effects. So yeah, just a crazy glitchy effect, uh, but it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy that I made it myself instead of using some sample, you know? So yeah, and in the second repetition, I just put it octave higher, which uh, results in a slightly different sound. And that's pretty much what I added in this part of the song. So yeah, just a lot of craziness going on there. And again, I have fruity stereo shaper on it, so it's like wider in the mix, not in the center. So that's what I played with there. And in the next repetition, I continue with the bass and I add this sound, which is like a lead sound. But it's also sort of like, but I turn up the wacky parameter all the way up. which makes it a bit a bit like distorted and I and I just go up with the melody and down and up it sort of like makes this progression happen in the song it sounds pretty harsh by itself but in the whole song it sort of gets lost Now my favorite part of the whole song, which is just this little fill where I put the bass in this fashion, where it's just one note after another, and I keep the kick there by itself. So yeah, it sounds like this. Yeah, that's, that's like my favorite part, I don't know why. Just so clean and big, like the bass is huge. And yeah, then we continue on, and I like this so much that I decided to do another drop in the song that will consist of this bass only. Here we have a little transition where there is only this effect. And then I hit it with the pure drums and bass. And again, in this case, the bass is like this. It's not like do 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 but it's do 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 And which makes it a little bit stronger in the whole mix. One thing I forgot to mention, I did sidechain the bass, so so every time the kick hits, it uh, does lower the volume of the bass using through delimiter for that, so you can see it here. But it doesn't lower it all the way down, it just lowers it a bit. So yeah, that is one thing I did, and here we have this part where it's just the bass and the drums with the crazy effects and some percussion. But wait for the next part, which will be the coolest one yet. I also build up the percussion a little bit. Now, before we get to this part, I gotta say, I was actually watching a lot of Westworld, the new season, and I think this part was sort of inspired by it a little bit. I don't know why, but I was like playing this part with uh, the car chase scene and I thought it fit pretty well. What I did here is play with the melody of the bass again. Where it just progresses like this. So in side trends, a lot of the times you just have one note throughout the whole song. But sometimes you can play with the bass melody. And I do like to play with the melodies. And I also layer the melody with this sound. 
again to make it a bit more distorted. And then I added this sound, which is really cool. It's one of the pad sounds or one of the unique sounds. Unfortunately, the plugin doesn't show the current preset that is loaded. So I cannot tell you which one it is exactly, but it sounds like this. So it's sort of like a alarm sound or something like that. That just created this crazy feel in the whole song, which I really liked. I deleted the low frequencies on it and I added gross beat again. So it's sort of stuttery. And yeah, I turn up the shaky and cracky parameters and we get this crazy sound. Which I think is like perfect for a action scene for some reason. That's what I add in that part of the song. And in the second part, I pitch it up again and it's even higher. I mean, I just put it octave higher. So that's how you gradually make the song more and more intense. Just And again, I add the percussions. And one more percussion I added is this. Just hit. And that is pretty much it. I mean, making side trends is sort of like simple. You just need the drums and the bass and then just add sounds, like add any sounds and play with those sounds. So that's pretty much what I did. Now let's hear the finished results. guys that is pretty much it for this video i definitely enjoyed making this track it was a lot of fun i am probably gonna make more side trends 
and make sure to check out Imperfect by WA Production. The link will be below in the description. You can try it out for free. Check out what it's all about. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.